Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to quickly and simply use data entry forms to input data into your table. So something like this. I'm all ready to, I have some stuff filled out here. I can go ahead and hit new and you can see how it adds quickly to the table. I can do more things using this uh, form by searching through tables to find something specifically. And I'm going to go through all of this today on Teachers Tech. So before we get started, there's a couple things that we need to do uh, to get our data entry form working. And first of all, though, I just want easy access to the data entry form and I want to add it to our quick access toolbar right up here. And how we do this is I'm going to drop down on this and go to more commands and I'm going to click on more commands. And you can see right now we have auto save, save, undo, redo. These are the corresponding ones that are showing up right here. What I want to do is find forms and add it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go commands not in the ribbon and it's alphabetical. I'm just going to scroll down to F right here, form, and I'm going to click add and hit OK. So now you can see that I have quick access to this form, but I'm still not ready to go. The next thing is I need to turn my uh, data that I've entered into a table. So I could have uh, started without putting any data before, just my headings and created a blank table and start from there. But for this example, I'm already going to start with some uh, with some uh, rows in here. So what I'm going to do is I could click in here, go up to, I'm just under the home and I can go to format table here and click on it and uh, go ahead and pick a table. And it's going to say, ask uh, format as table, my table as headers. And it goes through based on, you know, the color and we can go through and change it. I'm just going to undo. I want to show you a shortcut. Uh, when you want to start a table, you can always hit control, hold down control and then T. So if you do that, as long as you're clicked inside the table or the uh, data that you have, you can, this same thing will come up. So it's just a shortcut. Again, my table has headers. I'm going to hit OK. Now at this point, I'm ready to go with my form because I can go up here as long as I'm clicked inside of uh, the data here. I can click on this and then we have our form pop up. So let's try a few, show you a few things that we can do with this data entry form. So I just wanted to point out again, if you're outside the table like this and you hit it, you're going to get this error. Uh, make sure you're inside the table, doesn't matter where and when you click on it, it will open up the data entry form. So now what you can do with this data entry form, you can see we can kind of go through all the different entries. We have find next uh, through here. If I keep going through, we can kind of scroll through all the different ones to it. We can enter new ones like I showed you at the beginning uh, just by hitting new up here and I can quickly fill out more information uh, about uh, that I want right through here. So I'll just quickly put in the information and of house start here. So if I hit enter, it enters in or I could hit new again and it'll go and I can see the new entry right here and I can kind of go through and uh, go through and find the different ones just like this. I can also edit uh, different ones. Let's say uh, one of these got uh, one of these characters got married. I can go through and make a an, uh, change like this and and hit uh, enter again and you can see it updated the character right through here. So if I was going to go, I'm just going to go back to previous here and change it back here to Stark. If you were, uh, if you, if you didn't want to, if you didn't want to change it, what you can do is if you started typing it, let's say if I was writing Lannister and if I wanted it to go back, if I just hit restore, it goes back. So remember you can quickly just change if you've written something wrong, uh, you can go back and do it that way. Uh, you could also do some searching in here. So if I go ahead and hit uh, criteria, I can start looking for uh, different ones. So if I go in the house that if I was looking for Stark and hit enter, uh, you can see even though it says 12 of 13, it's not talking about all 12 of 13. If I go find next, you can see as I go through our previous, all it's going to go through is the ones with the house Stark here. Now, what I notice sometimes is if I hit criteria again, and if I change this, and this time I was looking for house uh, Lannister, and I'll just hit enter. Notice it doesn't uh, didn't pick up. What I would do then is just close this down, and if I open it back up again, 
and then hit criteria again and then I just would go back and hit it and then you can see that it's going to find there's only the two entries for Lannister in this one but it would find those so just close the form down open it up again and then hit criteria and then it would uh, pick it up right after that and you can use this for the other entries too for doing a search so if I go ahead I'm just going to close this and open it back up again uh, click that one more time and let's say if I was going to go under I wanted to see everybody that was uh, in season one and then I can hit enter and you can see that there's only going to be there's going to be this one and I believe one other one so you can see there's only two entries so you can do a criteria for any of these and do your searching the other thing I just wanted to point out lastly is the delete button with any of these you could maybe search for something and then go ahead and hit delete it will ask you if that's what you want for sure just hit OK and you just notice that this was deleted from it so very easily uh, this can save you a lot of time by you using this when you're entering your forms, maybe save you some errors, entering them in and then doing the searching inside. So I hope you like this tip uh, today uh, using the data entry form in Microsoft Excel. Let me know if you've used it or other things that you're looking to learn in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.